Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up this star rating project in Rive using data binding. We'll start with how to find this file, and then I'll take you through the basics of the state machine, and by the time we're done we're going to have a fully usable star rating component in Rive. First things first, we need to click right here where it says star rating, and this will take you to its marketplace page where you can interact with it and test it out. If you want to use this file or change anything about it, we need to click Remix. This will give you a selection of your various workplaces. So select your workplace and click here. Then when you open Rive, you'll see the star rating file here. Now double click to open it up. The first thing you'll see is the complete artboard. This is where everything's set up correctly in the state machine. We want to arrange the state machine ourselves, so just go up here, move along, and highlight the tutorial artboard instead. Down here you'll see that it has an empty state machine. If you currently can't see the state machine, it might be that you're in design mode, in which case you need to either tap tab or simply select animate mode. This will show your state machine. Now on the left you're going to see a list of animations. One of them is going to show an empty star rating, one of them is going to show one star, and when you press play, it animates. Another one shows two stars animating, three, four, and five. Now select the state machine, and we're going to drag each of these six states onto the state machine stage. Rive's inbuilt state machine allows you to transition between animations in any way that you want. For this project, I want to be able to transition between any animation to any other animation. And to do this, I'm just going to use an any state. So I can click here and drag a transition line to the empty state, and then another one to the one star state, and then individual transition lines to the rest. What I want now is a reason to transition to this state, or this state, or this state, or any other state. And that reason is called a condition. And for this project, because we have multiple similar states, my condition is going to be set using a number. So if the number is 0, then we transition to empty. If the number is 1, then we transition here, 2, here, 3, 4, 5. So how do we create and control a number? Well, if you highlight your tutorial artboard and then go over here, you can create a new view model. It's called View Model 1. And we can see it if we go over to the data panel. Here it is. I'm just going to call this Tutorial View Model. And now I'm going to give this view model a number. I'm going to call it Num. This is the number. And we can now use this number as conditions in the state machine. So I can highlight all of my transitions and go down here and click plus. And then to all six transitions, I'm going to say if num is equal to, and currently they're all set to zero. So we now have to deselect them and then individually set the value of the condition. Now for the transition to the empty state, the value is currently set to zero. And this is fine. Let's highlight the next transition and I'm going to set it to one. Two, three, four, and five. So now if I press play, our number's initial value is zero, which is why we are currently in the empty state. Now let's change the number to three. We have now met this condition, so we transitioned to this state instead. And I can change the number all I want from any state to any other state. However, I don't want to have to keep controlling this number manually. What we need to do is listen for mouse clicks. And the way to do that is to create some listeners. So open the listeners panel and I'm going to create five listeners. I'm going to call this one one, this one two, 
three, four, and five. Highlight your first listener, and we need to set a target layer to listen to. Right now, I can't actually see my layers because we're in the data panel. So I'm going to open the hierarchy panel instead and open up this group. And here we can see our stars. So I can select my first listener, tap target, and then go over here and select star one. If the pointer clicks down on star one, then set number two, one. Now I'll go to my second listener, set the target to star two, and say if the pointer goes down on star two, then set number two, two. And I'll do the same thing for listener three, set the target to star three. If the pointer goes down on star three, then set number two, three, four, set the target to star four. If the pointer goes down on star four, then we set number two, four. And finally, set the target to star five. If the pointer goes down on star five, set the number to five. So we are now listening to each of these stars. And if I press play, when I click on a star, that changes the view model number property. And that, of course, controls the state machine conditions. And therefore, this is a fully usable, production-ready component made in Rive. And we can export this file as a .riv just here, and we can embed this star rating on a web page or in an app or even in a game engine.